Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and some more uh, epic battles or epic American Civil War coverage for you guys here. Today we're going to take a look at the Confederate Brigade, uh, excuse me, Brigade as we get into, um, again, everything from this initial wave here of the epic uh, American Civil War um, releases. Um, there's plenty more already uh, announced and coming in the pipeline. There's a Wave 2 and Wave 3. Check out the Warlord site for news on that. But for today we're going to take a look at this, which again, if we flip it over to the back real quick for you guys, give you an idea of what's in here so um you know you're getting about a uh, hundred men so but of course they come in these little strips here which we'll see once we get the box open for you guys but no shortage of things so basically um as they say here so three uh, of the sprues uh three uh, base sprues and then a flag leaflet here as well so and this is a really nice breakdown uh, again of everything that you're getting so uh no shortage of stuff and no uh or it's not uh, not very difficult at all in this game to um, just easily uh, acquire a sizable force because of the scale. Uh, these um, uh, brigade boxes clocking in roughly around 30 bucks, 32 bucks, something like that. So um, pretty uh, simple option really to either uh, get into the game or upgrade your forces um, with that. So anyway, we'll get this open for you guys. We'll take a look and then we'll see you in just a few. Alrighty guys, we're back, we got everything open, so again we get our flag sheet there, we're not going to dwell on that too long. Um, uh, three of these sprues of bases here basically, so um, pun intended there. But again, these are the ones for your infantry, uh, commanders or uh, other uh, leader type figures. Uh, this is the base for the artillery, so again everything fits uh, pretty neatly, everything's kind of like snap to fit. Um, so a really neat uh, system that they came up with for that there, and again the fact that it's basically all plastic as well. Uh, plastic and or resin so far so good goodies there um, and then basically you get three of these uh, sprues and um, for those uh, who are, have been paying attention and um, picked up that uh, War Games Illustrated from like a month or so ago um, you'll recognize the sprue because you actually got full one uh, single one of these sprues <clears throat> to me in the magazine so um, just uh, uh, along with the bases, of course. Uh, so again, pretty generous on Warlord's part for uh, supplying that. But uh, this box set, again, will give you three full ones of these. So um, so for those who, again, uh, picked up the, the magazine, you, you already got a fair little bit there. Um, and then the fact that these uh, uh, brigades basically give you triple of that. So really easy to, um, uh, again, assemble, get it uh, uh, painted up and all that fun stuff. But anyway, um, as you guys can see, so uh, even though we have this... Uh, rather small scale. Warlord has just done a fantastic job of capturing detail there. A lot of times when you have things at this scale, um, if the, the models just aren't up to snuff as far as being up close, uh, the faces are basically just blobs, but here we can certainly see, um, trying to still keep focus here for you guys, but you know, we got definitely individual faces, got beards, mustaches, all kinds of other stuff going on there, so um, really, really nice uh, on Warlord's part there. So. Again, quite a few of those. The uh, cannon assembly is not very complicated at all. Basically, you got two sides plus the uh, the, the center there, and really just uh, it's a matter of just gluing it, gluing it together, and then getting it on the base. The commander is nice and easy. It's one piece there, although the sword does seem to be bent a little bit. But um, um, that being said, that's uh, pretty easily fixed there. Uh, but again, more of the infantry. So give you guys kind of a look at the back here. So again. Wonderful detail. So again, you can do quick and dirty paint jobs to just get this stuff on the field, um, especially uh, considering uh, you know like the uh, overall color schemes. Um, so, um, but nonetheless, you know, again, if you want that detail, it's there. So you get all their kit and stuff on them. So you know, if you did want to take that time and uh, really make them stand out, or maybe some of your premier uh, brigades or other units and stuff like that, um, certainly the details there. Um, and again, this will just look uh, absolutely amazing on the tabletop, along with some uh, quality terrain and stuff like that. So, um, so like I said, yeah, very easy to basically go three colors on it, get it all on the tabletop, and uh, you know, have fully painted armies. Um, but that being said, uh, you know, uh, certainly. Uh, the, the option to hobby uh, and paint uh, to your heart's content there with a little bit more detail is definitely there. So uh, again, other side of the cannon and the commander and stuff there. And then like I said, basically we just get three uh, of the same sprue here. So, and yeah, that's the brigade guys. So if we kind of like lay this out here, if we can get the sprues to cooperate with us, just so you guys can kind of see the full, the full uh, uh, amount of that. So um, again, even this much really isn't going to take you that long to assemble or anything like that, um, and get painted up. So don't don't uh, 
uh, with this epic scale, don't be uh, sort of intimidated by um, just the, the sheer quantity of figures. Um, it'll, it'll go pretty quick. So um, even with the great detail that they have here, um, there's just a l stuff that goes very quickly on the painting side. So um, definitely worth checking out, guys. So and again, for 32 bucks, um, that's that's a hell of a lot of stuff right there. So, um, you know, 100 plus guys, uh, all your bases and the, the flag sheet and stuff like that. So you don't have to go hunting around on the Internet and re paint or, uh, you know, messing around with paint or Photoshop or whatever, resizing and printing and stuff like that. So um, you just have that sheet there. Uh, what you probably could do um, is, if you wanted more of those flags, take it to like a, a Staples or Kinkos or something like that and make some other high quality copies. This is more of a, a flat uh, paper that they give us here, so nothing glossy. If you want something a little shiny or something like that, of course, you could go that route too. Uh, but overall, yeah, just good stuff, guys. Um, let us know in the comments what you think so far. For those who've picked up either of the brigades, whether it's the Confederates or the Union, um, just what you guys think overall on this uh, new uh, epic uh, scale game that Warlord has been or has brought us here, and um, how you plan on building your forces, and um, you know, just uh, again, overall thoughts on the scale and uh, the quality of the minis and all that stuff. So let us know in the comments, guys. Always appreciate hearing from you. Um, hit us up with that like and subscribe as well if you haven't. We'll have plenty more uh, epic uh, American Civil War coverage coming for you guys. And if you guys do want to support the channel even a little bit more, uh, check the link in the description there. That will take you over to Warlord. And if you guys pick up anything there, that also uh, comes back and support the sh supports the channel a little bit. So we do appreciate everybody who's been doing that. In the meantime, guys, thanks so much for stopping in again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.